Good evening. I hope everybody had a profitable Friday. Games are still in progress, but it looks as if the all-access customers are on the verge of another really good night in the NBA. 3-0. and It looks like the Spurs are going to capture that last game for us. So a perfect night in the NBA. 3-0. and 2-1 and in college basketball. Utah Valley squeaked under that total. So 2-1 and in college basketball. So a pretty good night for all-access customers in on the hardwood. Welcome to Against the Public. I'm Dana Lane. We're the only show to analyze early betting patterns by the public. And we've done that again with three more free college basketball winners for Saturday with each one going, going against early betting patterns. Before I get to my free play, I have my five pack yeah i said five pack my college football basketball five pack that is loaded up for saturday 69.99 gives you every single one of those plays for one low price and of course that always comes with our pick dogs win guarantee that states you must profit or receive an immediate site credit for the purchase price and usually we'll do a three pack but i'm so confident and i love this college basketball card tomorrow that we threw five games up there this added 20 bucks to the price, so you get all five for $69.99, and you get that win guarantee as well. In addition, the all-access pass is loaded up. It is locked in. Become a member with my 30-day all-access pass, just $13.13 a day. 90-day pass is less than $10 a day, and my annual all-access pass is less than than $100 a month. And of course, this is championship weekend, AFC, NFC championship games. We have the NFL playoff pass loaded up right now. $99.99 gives you not only this weekend's games, but it also gives you the Super Bowl side and total as well. So you get uh, the side and total in one of the games this weekend and the side in the other. So that's three plays. And then you get five plays for $99.99. And that's going to cap off what has been not only an amazing NFL season, but an amazing college uh, college and pro football season. Absolutely been killing it since the beginning of September. And thank you to everybody that has joined up uh, in that span. And in case you need more convincing of what all access, all access customers have done of late. Now, this does not include these late results, but up to about, I don't know, uh, five, six o'clock this evening uh, Pacific time. Overall, act, all access customers are up 1,123 units with two winners in already tonight. Uh, that's over the last 30 days. 56.1% winners in the NFL, 59, and that's for the entire season. 59% winners over the last 90 days, 61% winners over the last 30 days, including a four and two week last week. In the NBA, last 30, 55% winners, Overall, 56.3% winners in the NHL overall, and that's over in the last last 30 days. I'm also the number one NHL handicapper over the last week with an 8-2 and two run with tonight's games pending. And hopefully, that is all that needs to be said. We're a day away from the NFL championship so, uh, games. Selections are loaded up. I put them up early for you guys so you can uh, get them and do with them what you might. Uh, but uh, as long as you're on board with one of our all-access passes or the individual game passes or uh, the three-pack, the five-packs, whatever you want to do, uh, obviously uh, we are there to make sure that your bankroll just continues to con move forward in a positive, positive manner. Some days we move forward uh, a little bit. Some days we move back a little bit. But we're waiting for those massive days. And I think tomorrow we're on the verge of that with a big college basketball uh, card. I have five games in that five pack, but I have six overall. So I'm really going all in on tomorrow's college basketball play. So let's get to your free games in college basketball for Saturday, 12 o'clock Eastern time. Game 603-604 on your Nevada, well, not Nevada, but <laughs> gaming rotation numbers. Uh, Nebraska Cornhuskers versus the Maryland ter Terrapins. Terrapins minus four, 140 and a half is your total. We've seen a ton of money come in on Maryland uh, to the tune of 80% after this number opened up at Maryland minus four. That push ballooned that number up to five and a half. We also see 87% of the early tickets are also coming in on Maryland with about 1,800 wagers so far. Uh, the Huskers have been a solid wager all season with a 12 and eight ATS record. That backs up their 15 and five overall record. And to me, that makes them a dangerous, a dangerous team moving forward. They're coming off that impressive home win against Ohio State. They also beat Northwestern. They're plenty focused with Maryland dominating the recent meetings between these two teams. So they'll be plenty focused 
confidence-wise, they're at an all-time high. And then, of course, the, the last game that they lost to Maryland. So won't be a won't be a look-ahead spot in any way for Nebraska. Not that it should anyway when you're playing a road team in conference, um, and especially one of the caliber of Maryland. This is really about holding Jameer Young down. Another incredible effort the other night, a 22-point game against Iowa. That last 90 seconds against the Hawkeyes was uh, absolutely amazing. So Nebraska knows what they have to do to stay within this game. And if they, you know, let J Jameer Young go off again for 25, uh, 20 to 25 points, he's averaging what, 22, uh, 21 points this year, something like that. If they hold them under that. They're going to be right, not only in position to cover this game, but they're also going to be in a cup, uh, position to uh, win this game. I look for the Huskers to get out high on Young on the ball uh, when he brings the ball up. I, I, the idea is to get it out of his hands, and then you got to chase him all over the court to make sure he doesn't get it back. But I think that's what you're going to see. There's no reason um, that uh, Nebraska isn't going to pressure him early in the possession, and the idea is to make sure he does not have the ball in, the, in his hands. And if they're successful at doing that, Nebraska's got a great opportunity to win this game straight up. So I'm going to take Nebraska plus the four. Game number two, uh, also 12 o'clock Eastern time, 6.05, 6.06. William and Mary Tribe versus the Northeastern Huskies. Huskies minus nine, 139 is your total. The consensus number opened with the Huskies at minus nine. Uh, but that had looked, uh, but that was up, uh, check that again, eight and a half, and then it moved up to nine uh, when the other monitored sports books came out and put their, number, their numbers up. And that, of course, uh, affected the consensus number. So we're going to use nine and 139 as the number in this game. Uh, a pretty decent and much needed effort against, against Hofstra the other night. A uh, team that should have been should have blown a tribe out by 15 points, really. Uh, the Huskies have been a lot better than our 8-12 and 12 record, I think, indicates. Uh, the problem is they're one of the worst defensive teams in basketball this season. I, every time I've had the opportunity to watch Northeastern play, I'm just like, I can never, I can never lay a large margin with this team because I just can't trust them defensively. They just, at times, they're completely disinterested in what they're doing and, um, I think I think with William and Mary coming in on a team that they think that they should be, I think we're going to see that kind of defensive effort here as well. Four of the last eight meetings, and this has been a very close series between these two teams, four of the last eight meetings have been decided by a single possession, and another one of those games went to overtime. So close games between these two. I think nine is way too many points, so I'm going to take William and Mary plus the nine. And then game number three, uh, 12 o'clock Eastern Time, 607-608, Kansas State Wildcats versus the Houston Cougars. Cougars minus 15 and a half, 129 is, is your total. Uh, this number is all over the place, but I think everyone eventually is going to get the Cougars to probably around 16 or so. We see some 15s, 15 and a halfs right now, uh, but I think by game time we're going to see 16. So you might want to wait a little bit to see if you can get a little bit better of a number than 15 and a half. But I still think 15 and a half, if that's your that's your number that you're stuck on. I think, still think that that's good enough here. 75% of the early money among the 1,200 wagers coming in so far are on the Cougars. Uh, the ticket count is also in favor of Houston, 71% of the tickets on Houston. And the Wildcats have been, have been okay against the number this season. They failed to cover in their last two games. They missed that last game against uh, Iowa State. They played a much better second half than they did in the first half. And to me that the losses are not great, but they also mean they're going to come into this game a little bit more focused. And there's a lot of layers to this game. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, Kansas State should always be up for a top five team in Houston. But uh, for as far as Houston is concerned, that they failed to cover the last three of their last five games. So maybe they're looking past Kansas State a little bit. But for as many accolades, and just going to the coaching aspect of this, as many accolades as we've seen Kelvin Sampson get over his career, which is absolutely uh, he should get every single one of them. He's one of the greatest of all time. But the guy on the other side of the court, Jerome Tang, 40 and 15 at Kansas State he started his career. Now this is going to be an interesting aspect of this. He started his career in the Houston area uh, in a town called Cleveland, which is about 45 minutes outside of Houston. So he coached uh, high school basketball there at Heritage Christian Academy, and you can bet 
there he's got a little bit added incentive to keep this game close or you know perhaps give Houston a run for their money at the end. I just think in this sort of situation, there's a lot of uh, ancillary layers that favor Kansas State. I think 15 and a half is way too much for a coach that really wants to go home and say, hey, look, uh, I got a pretty good team too, and that, which they do in Kansas State. I think 15 and a half is way too much. So we'll take the, the uh, Wildcats plus uh, the points in this one. So that does it for your free place for Friday, for Saturday rather. Please go to pickdodge.com, get involved with my college basketball five pack. $69.99 gives you every single one of those plays. Of course, you get the Pick Dogs win guarantee along with that. All access passes are up there. The NFL uh, AFC NFC Championship game passes are up there as well. And then, of course, the NFL pass, which is $99.99. You can get AFC NFC Championship games this weekend and the Super Bowl for one low price. So, all kinds of ways to get involved. Thank you to everybody that has so far. I really appreciate it. And I know that it's not easy to put your money behind somebody and saying, okay, I, I trust what you're saying. So the people that have done that, thank you so much. And I do appreciate it. And you can guarantee uh, I'm working very hard to make sure that your uh, money is uh, recuperated or, or recouped. Recouped, yeah, not recuperated. Recouped and that uh, you uh, have a nice profit at the end. Of, uh, of your package. So let's give you our free plays one more time. Nebraska plus the four, William & Mary plus the nine, Kansas State plus 15 and a half. And that does it for today's show. Thank you to everybody that helps continue to grow the show. That does it for Against the Public. I'm Dana Lane. All the best to you and your wagers on Saturday.